Hello there, and welcome back to Steam Chasers. This week is the third part of the history of the Werner Thing Klein. For those of you who are just joining us, we are here on the Rochdale Line, northeast of Manchester, at Middleton Junction. Part two ended on the railway bridge over the Rochdale Canal. We are briefly venturing down the canal now to Grimshaw Lane, Bridge 75 Alpha. This original Victorian lift bridge allowed barges to cross by raising the road above the canal. Seen here with the Swan Mill centre screen and the Junction Mill behind towering over the little lift bridge. Visible here, framing the signal box of Middleton Junction. The Rochdale Canal and the bridge that crossed it were neglected and forgotten, resulting in the bridge being replaced by a fixed concrete crossing in 1972. But in March 2002, the rejuvenation of Britain's waterways was well underway and an automated mechanical lifting bridge costing £700,000 was installed, allowing tourism back into Chatterton. <coughs> but now, let's get back to why we're here. Starting with the aptly named Railway and Linnet pub. This long serving public house, visible here nestled next to the station on the 1914 map, unfortunately now has this sign. The Linnet, a mainly brown and grey finch with a reddish breast and forehead, and an American locomotive. But John Willie Lee's, being a traditional brewery, probably didn't want to rename the pub the Canary and U3B. It doesn't really have the same ring to it. So, looking at this aerial photo from 1926, Manchester is up this way, Rochdale over here, and this is the Oldham Line and Chatterton Goods Branch. The Swan Mill is here. The Junction Mill is here, with the bridge in between. And the Grimshaw Mill is here, with Grimshaw Lane, leading to Middleton Junction Station. And finally, this is the Middleton Branch Line, which we'll be coming back to later. Middleton Junction on the original Manchester and Leeds Railway was opened in 1842, named Oldham Junction. Renaming took place in 1852. When the Werneth route into Oldham was taken out of use in 1963, the station closed. On the 7th of August 1965, the LCGB ran a tour in the area with Fowler 264 tank 42343. returned to Middleton Junction and was propelled down the remains of the Oldham Line to Chatterton, where a coal depot remained open. From Newton Heath, the train ran along the main line to Rochdale for three miles, before turning to the east at Middleton Junction. This was the first Lancashire and Yorkshire main line to open. Oh. 
As we pass the pub, we see the remains of the staircase which once led up to the olden platforms of the station. Middleton Junction West signal box was also located on top of this bridge and can be seen in one Mike's video from 1990. The box is also seen here in 1962 with the station. Oldham lines went to the right and Rochdale and Middleton straight on. Next we see the Junction Mill once again, meaning that this is the Oldham lines crossing over the Rochdale Canal where we started this journey today. Passing under the line in the single lane tunnel We reach the other side to reveal the remnants of the station foundations and a pitiful tribute to the former station, obscured by advertisements. This photo is titled Buffer at the south end of Middleton Junction Station and is located here. As you can see, the wall opposite has always been prone to advertising. Middleton Junction had several reasonably large goods yards, and the next two photos were taken in the yard just south of the station, very close to the previous photo. This is a photo of the goods yard shed, which was also present in the south yard. Moving north, we reached the spur off the main line, which served the town of Middleton. It opened on the 5th of January 1857. It was at the end of this short branch line where Middleton Station was located, almost in the town centre. The line closed to passengers on the 7th of September 1964 and completely on the 11th of October 1965. The permanent way is still quite obvious, although not an actual footpath and may be the subject of a later video. Continuing north, following the tremendous amount of brickwork which adorns the main line, as it does many others. Passing the Minder's Arms, and under the line once again, we arrive at the former site of the Bay Tree Mill. And looking back at the bridge, where on the 27th of September 1963 there was a derailment. The Baytree Mill can be clearly seen in the background of this image. This account of the accident is by Mr. Malcolm Taylor, who was a signalman at Middleton Junction West Box. When I was discharged from the Navy in 1962, I went onto the railways as a signalman and worked my way up to Middleton Junction West Box, which at the time was a highly specialised box, as it regulated all the trains into Manchester from the North East. Then the North West from the West Coast Main Line, Glasgow, etc. Plus then the Oldham Branch and Werneth to Oldham. And of course the Middleton Branch Line. And the best part was, a house came into the signal box, on Fred Street. It was I who put the train down into Hunt and Mosscrop's yard. It was a fully fitted freight and why it went into the yard was because firstly the driver did not take my distant signal at Castleton which basically told him to be prepared to stop at Mills Hill. 
in the junction, which then had four platforms, I had the brewery sidings Burnley coal train, which had stopped in the station, waiting for the train to come up from Middleton. But they had just put on the new multiple diesel rail cars, and this one was not getting up the incline into the junction. It was ten past eight in the morning, and the station was filling up with office workers, waiting for the Middleton train on the platform. I then get the usual call. Harrogate at Todmorden. The express was coming. I knew I then had 20 minutes to move all the trains out of its way, and I had already put the slow bake-up train on the slow line, so I had just the Middleton train. I was waiting to board the office workers, and then to put it on the slow line, and the line would be clear for the express. You never stop them or the paper trains. I got a call from Jimmy Makin at Mills Hill Signal Box. He's not stopping the freight train. So I replied, put it in the loop line. When the guy in Middleton Junction East Box asked what he should do, I replied, watch a train crash and let him go into the buffer ends, which he did. Luckily the guard had seen what was going to happen and applied the fitted brake but too late to stop him going over the embankment and into Hunt and Mosscrop Yard. The driver and fireman jumped out of the way before it went down. If I had let him out of the loop, I had a platform full of people on one side, a train on the other, and was still waiting for the Milton train to get up into the junction. And at the speed the freight train was going, he would have smashed into all of them, including the junction station, causing a lot of casualties. So I just let him go into the yard. I only had minutes to decide. The loco slid down the bank into the site of the old firwood mill. After the plug was removed from the engine firebox, there were people coming from all over more close with prams, buggies, wheelbarrows. All of them came to fill up coal from the tender which was in the yard and it was swept clean of all its coal. It did not take long for word to get round in those days. Mr. Malcolm Taylor, Middleton Junction, West Box. Hello and welcome to a training video that I put together in 1989-90 of Middleton Junction Signal Box. Here you can have a look at the diagram as it were. If you look in the background you can see where the old sidings used to be. This was a very busy box at one stage as you can see. This served the first line that went to Oldham as well as uh, the main lines that went to Chatterton Power Station and Chatterton Holding Sidings. So it was certainly busy in its time. So here we have uh, the blocks, the LMS box, the one that went to Vitral, the one next to it is the one that went to Castleton. Here we see the old desk and the frames in action.
I hope you enjoyed this journey around Middleton Junction. Please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next week for part four. Werner Inclined.